Welcome to Oracle new feature video series. In this series of video, I'm going to talk about the new features released as part of Oracle. In the first video, I'm going to talk about a new feature that is released in 12.2, which allows developer to create database objects more than 30 character. In previous versions of Oracle, prior to 12.2, if you try to create an object which has a name greater than 30 character, Oracle would throw an error called identifier is too long. I'm sure like most of us during our development time would have encountered this error. So because of this limitation, we would have mostly like uh, keep an abbreviated name, a shorter name, uh, which uh, it's a bit uh, difficult to understand what is the actual um, uh, functional name for a table. But from 12.2 onwards, Oracle allow developers to create object name more than 30 character. Let us first try to create a table, then we'll see the technicalities associated with that. So here I am trying to create a table called Audit City Customer Loan Account Summary Table. So the length of the table name is actually 46 character. Let us try to create. Actually I have uh, connected to a 12.2 version of a database. Okay, let us try to, yeah, the table is created now. That means from 12.2 onwards, Oracle allows to create object name, a table name more than 30 character. Is this applicable only for a table name? Obviously no, Oracle allows objects to create more than 30 character for all the named identifiers. So we can create a table, a view, synonym, sequence, all the object, okay? Uh, so what is the best way to identify or what is the best way to know what are all the objects I can create for more than 30 character is that whenever you are creating a table, so this information is actually getting stored inside the data dictionary table, right? something like a user table, all underscore table, or DBA tables, okay? So let us see the structure of the table, user underscore table. So if you see the structure, we have a column called table underscore name, which actually stores the name of the table. In earlier versions of the Oracle, if you see, it would be varchar2 of 30, but from 12.2 onwards, this data type is increased to 128 so oracle allows the um, table names or any other identifiers to be created more than 30 characters okay let us try to create a sequence sequence i'm just trying to create some uh, quite a bigger sequence name okay let me just try to create this sequence okay in fact the sequence is created successfully okay just to make sure select sequence dot next to val from dual yes of course sequence is created and we are able to query from the sequence also okay in case if you are if you are connected to 12.2 database and if you are not able to create then there is one conf one initialization parameter that you need to check that is called compatible parameter just check in your V dollar parameter table for a parameter called compatible. Okay, so here uh, you'll be able to see the value here. If the value is set to 12.2.0 or greater, then Oracle allows to create objects more than 30 character. In case if this value is set to 12.1.0 or lower, then Oracle will not allow, even though the uh, dictionary shows as 128 character, Oracle will not allow to create objects more than 30 character. Okay, so from 12.2 version onwards, we don't, no need to have like abbreviated name or a shorter name. Okay, we can have a uh, actual logical name so that it is easy for developers to understand what is the uh, real functional meaning the table was created. Okay, or and just in case if this functionality is not working, then just don't forget to check the VDLR parameter for compatible initialization parameter. Oracle has given some general naming guidelines. As such, use a full descriptive and pronounceable names so that it is easy for a developer to understand the 
underlying functionality okay the next is use a consistent naming rule always if you are trying to create a table with some naming convention use it consistently across okay the next is use a consistent naming rule for your entity for example if you want to create a if you want to capture a, a customer id information use the same column name across the table rather than having different column names across better to use the similar column names or same column names for the entities okay in short from oracle 12.2 onwards oracle allows uh, objects names to be created more than 30 character in fact up to 128 character okay but in case if this is not working fine not working fine then don't forget to check the compatible initialization parameter okay and the best way is to know what are the objects that can be created more than 30 character is to check the data dictionary views okay thank you for watching the video and please share your comments and do subscribe to get notified for upcoming videos thank you